So uh, thank you for listening in such a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Um, shortly introduce who is Xiang Design. So uh, we are the product design and strategy company based in Shanghai. Uh, we are the first winner of the uh, four international awards in the world, including uh, Juma, IF Award, Red Dog Award, and IDA Award. We are also uh, working for a lot of companies. For example, uh, we are the only Chinese company uh, who work for Boeing, the world's biggest uh, aircraft manufacturers. We work for uh, transportation sectors, home appliance, some of the home products, as well as uh, some fashionable products and FMCG as well. Um, so I founded the Institute of Design Strategy about uh, nine years ago. Uh, in terms of design strategy, actually I mean different things. For example, uh, it could include the strategy for product design, brand identity, user experience, service design, and change started. For me, these are different methodologies. Uh, some of our colleagues come from Germany, Italy, and Japan. But uh, this has all some kind of similarity. As you guys talk about semioptics and semiotics these days, we found that uh, many of the metals are similar. This is one of the lab what we call CMF, uh, that stands for color, material, and finish. Here we work with uh, vendors in, uh, in all, all, all kinds of fields. Uh, we annually update the database. We also propose a certain solution for product design. And uh, every year we propose a trend for the next two years. In terms of trend, uh, we actually see them in different categories. There are fashion trends that would be updated in every season. Therefore, uh, we consider this as fashion instead of trends. Our focus is uh, about trends that last for two years uh, until ten years. For example, for home products and home appliance, it usually update as every year. But for transportation, it might take more than five years for the R&D process. And if the trend lasts for ten years, we will consider as a mega trend. And then, last but not the least, there are some kind of trends that we consider as culture that will pass on for decades and generations. Here are some of our understanding of uh, product categories and trends. This is a project uh, we did for a sofa company in China. We believe that uh, the trends that happen in the fashion industry will influence the home sectors in about two years later. Therefore, if uh, we dialyze the color trends uh, in Milan Fashion Week, we can actually predict what will be happening in the Milan Furniture Fair. In this way, uh, we can predict the trends ahead, uh, even before it occurs. And also, uh, different brands might take different positions in terms of the trends influence model. For example, uh, this is uh, diagrams of uh, intelligent firms. Uh, at the very beginning, we believe that there are some pioneers, for example, Newton, that uh, can be considered as innovator of intelligent firms. But these kind of products are not successful. And then we have Blackberry, who is the early adapter of this technology, and uh, it was considered as a very rich market. Uh, here in the middle, we will see uh, the position of uh, Apple's iPhone, who is truly the uh, first mainstream product for intelligent film. And then uh, following Apple's, uh, we will see the uh, market for Samsung. Even though Samsung is not an uh, innovator in a sense, it still occupies a lot of the market share. Uh, that is about 44%. Uh, Last but not the least, uh, we will see some of the legacy as what we call uh, they are out of chance. For example, most of the Chinese brands, they are actually following this chance and taking the uh, major markets uh, in the later stage. So uh, in terms of trend, uh, we need to define uh, which kind is your position. Uh, if you want to be the innovator or if you want to be the mainstream uh, occupier instead. 
we must talk about uh, the project that we did every year. We call it the China Design Trend Progress. Um, the background of this project uh, is about to understand how is the trend service, which kind of product will fit for the future markets. And uh, we see that there are a lot of trends reports uh, in the world, but uh, if this kind of trend report will uh, be suitable for the Chinese markets. So these are the backgrounds uh, why we are doing this project. In terms of methodology, uh, we did an annual study of uh, six sectors, uh, including politics, economy, uh, society, design, technology, and culture. Uh, culture is a little bit different than society because entertainment is also included in this sector. Then uh, we will conduct face-to-face -face interview with opinion leaders from different fields. For example, in 2014, we have interviewed for people from media, design, branding, and uh, trend analyze and event curators. So last but not the least, we will summarize the keywords and put it into four different macro trends. In each trend, we will represent uh, it as uh, style, color, material, texture, and pattern representation. The goal of doing this is to provide inspiration for R&D, marketing, and even brand owners. So let's review uh, what's happening in China in 2014. Uh, the most important thing uh, in the first half of the year is the authority takeover, which means we are having a new president. So the most uh, two mentioned keywords is China's dream and innovation, meaning that uh, we might uh, ch change from a nation that is manufacturing to a nation that is truly innovating. And then uh, we welcome the most fashionable fa first lady, it has actually, uh, she has actually caused quite a sensation uh, when she's traveling with uh, President Xi abroad. For example, on the left uh, is uh, uh, Peng, uh, Miss Peng carrying uh, a fashion brand called Exception. It's a Cantonese brand in China. On the right is um, uh, Peng Yuan using a T-shirt uh, designed by Ch uh, Japan, uh, Chinese designer Jenny Yang in a trip to Malaysia. We believe that uh, this is uh, truly the first uh, iconic presence uh, in political world. Uh, this time, we are not seeing a superstar in entertainment as our idol, but instead in the political world. And we also consider this kind of trend as a pursuit of identity. Because in the old days, politics is only uh, for politics' sake. But nowadays, uh, we are searching for our own identity in terms of design and also in terms of innovation. So that would be uh, very influential for this industry. Um, as a consequence, we will see that the stock in the fashion brands of China has signed rising. In terms of economy, uh, because of the uh, global economy crisis, we will see a preservation growth in China. Also, uh, in terms of the industry, we see the automotive sectors are expanded to suburban and countryside. Uh, because of the anti-pollution, uh, uh, anti-corruption uh, policy, we will see a slight decline of uh, accommodation and food sectors. Also, we have seen a rising cost of living, and last but not the least, uh, we have seen the rise of the team shopping mall and shopping centers in retail sectors. So this is uh, what we call preservation goals. So China has been going in a very fast pace over the years, but recently we have seen the preservation, which means that we are still going, but uh, we are slowing our pace. And then uh, online shopping is very, uh, actually occupying a lot of our life. So what is happening in the retail sector, for example, for shopping malls? Here you see in Shanghai, there is no shopping mall, for example, K11, Kelly Center, and IAPM, who focus on a special team. For example, for K11, there are very special department and uh, arm departments dedicated to all the arm installation and exhibition happening in the mall. 
And this is an uh, exhibition I curated in November. It's called uh, Genuine Design Exploration. Uh, in the uh, for, uh, PSG model of K11, there are about 3,000 uh, square meters uh, that is dedicated to this exhibition. Uh, by the way, the exhibition is also sponsored by Philips. So uh, when the audience get into this uh, exhibition, they are actually quite exciting to interact with these screens and all the changes of the lightings. In terms of uh, social, uh, we will see the keywords uh, as uh, metro disaster, air pollution, and urbanization in the cities. We also see that uh, nowadays, because internet uh, has uh, changed our life, their message, whether false or true, spreading very fastly. Therefore, we have seen the increase of a safety issue. We have seen that people are doing anti-corruption online. And because of that, uh, we have issues about social hostility against the government. There is also a decline of uh, government satisfactions. Last but not the least, this has uh, caused what we call a uh, trust crisis, that is uh, in lack of trust and safety. And we consider that uh, one of the biggest issues in current China. Uh, let's talk about air pollution. The world haze is becoming very hot in China over the past, uh, past few years. Two years ago, I would say that I was very lucky to live in Shanghai. But nowadays, Shanghai is no different than Beijing, and we are quite worried about the air quality. We are seeing that uh, the government have put the air quality monitors into their policy, and also as one of their responsibility to improve the air quality, uh, the soil quality, and also uh, the water quality. Therefore, we have seen Japanese brands who will focus on these topics. For example, we have seen USB sticks, and printers and screens that have the function of air purifying. And that was very fun because no one will figure out why these products are related to air purifying functions. And actually, we will see this uh, kind of function will expand it to different categories. For example, entertainment products, accessories, things like that. In terms of technology, uh, we will see the keywords as 3D printers, multifunctional sunglasses, wearable medical device, motion sensing technology, intelligent watch, and pilot's automobile. This is an example of using 3D printers in our daily life. It's launched by a French company called Skeptio. Uh, users can take pictures of their own and then scan their silhouettes by this APP. In the online platform, you can create a product, for example, a cup or a vase, based on your old silhouette. So that's a new way of interaction and also creating the product of your own. Also, uh, in terms of wearable technology, we have seen many concept designs before, but uh, we consider this product to be the first mainstream product. Uh, it's launched by Samsung, and therefore we will see that the 2014 is truly the first year for wearable technology. In terms of culture, we we'll see that uh, because of the fast uh, uh, transformation of information, nowadays uh, we are very much influenced by the global culture. For example, Japanese culture, British culture, American culture. Um, we we'll see that in 2014, the British culture has its say. Besides, uh, we also noticed the trend of teenage subject, live sound, reality show, and sharing platforms. To begin with, the British culture. We will see that uh, British culture is based on its soul opera, because it's so popular uh, in the video online video. Also, it's because of the Blue Princess case. Here, we will see not only the influence of this culture, but also the mindset behind. We will consider that as a portrait of success, identity, and heritage and it reflects the mindset of the China's upper class, especially uh, after the, uh, uh, the uh, Great Cultural Revolution. Uh, in a sense, there is no royal family 
on uh, or no uh, upper caste in China. Therefore, uh, we will see this trend as a search of identity. And the reality shows, um, as Professor Dukan said in the first day, we have a long history of reality show. First is the super boy and super girls, and then nowadays we have the Chinese idol and Chinese got talents. But we are seeing a new trend of reality show. Besides singing and dancing, it usually goes with some sad stories. The candidates might say that they are from an orphanage family, they have ill parents, or they cannot afford to go to school, the kind of things. Here we believe that uh, it's uh, uh, showing the sign of lack of trust in our society. We are seeing that the audience will get very soon very bored of this kind of sad stories. Then in the end of 2013, we have seen a new trend. Uh, that is a new reality show called that, where, where Are We Going? It's actually a Korean show, but produced in China. The theme is about uh, the superstar going together for a travel uh, together with their sons. Uh, here we see a new reality because uh, it shows the kind of very warm family bond. Uh, it's very real and it shows the trust between human beings. So this uh, the new kind of documentary and reality shows that will dominate the Chinese TV scene for a while. And then for teenage subjects, there are different movies that sh are showing teenage subjects in 2014. The most typical one is Timmy Tom. Here we see that the director Guo Jingming is showing a uh, very mature, uh, material world. Um, the average audience are 20 years old and female. We will see the value uh, reflected by these girls in portraits of uh, metropolitans, handsome boys, famous brands, luxuries, and very material world. There are many critics uh, that say that uh, this film has reflect very poor taste, uh, as if it's the Chinese version of Gopsy Girls. But here we will see that uh, the uh, lack of religion's belief and also the lack of uh, life value reflected in the young generation of, um, say, post nineteens in China. So in contrast uh, of Tiny Tom, you see another cultural influence that is from Japan. This uh, Japanese uh, phrase that is very hot in China called Danshui. Uh, it means uh, let go of the unnecessary, discuss uh, excess ways, and also to be free from uh, unnecessary and neglected objects. So here we will see that in country of the material uh, approach is uh, letting go of the unnecessary things and is more towards self-reflection. And it was very interesting because uh, this concept is also very popular among uh, post-19s and post-18s. In terms of this summary, uh, we will summarize the keyword uh, that is also very much influenced uh, by society and culture. We will see the design influenced by the new baby families, especially by, uh, by the post 18s. We will see a trend of uh, weekend kitchen. In terms of home appliance, we will see the integration of uh, sculpturized styling. We will see the integration of uh, air purification and then also uh, the visualized energy consumption. This is a study report we did for Chinese brand. So in the reports, we will summarize a trend for office worker who, can, uh, who would not go home and eat from Monday to Friday. So they will only cook at home during the weekends because they are too busy. So this is a new product launch in the exhibitions. Uh, here we will see a uh, kitchen cabinet with a door. You can close the door from Monday to Friday when you're not cooking, and you can open the door in the weekends. Also, there is a uh, very strong function in terms of storage, because there are a lot of home appliances and small home appliances for the Chinese families. Uh, and the new baby families. 
as is reflected in the TV uh, reality show, uh, we are having a baby bump in the recent years uh, for the post 18s. Here we see some uh, new products that is especially for this kind of sectors. For example, uh, this is a baby monitor uh, uh, with cameras and voice function by Belkin. And you can listen to your baby up to about uh, six Apple device. And then reachable uh, energy efficient control. This is a product uh, uh, air condition by Samsung. Here we see that instead of the traditional uh, air condition, there are three different fans that you can control individually. Therefore, it's more visible that you can control the volume of the air and save energy at the same time. And also a sculptural appliance. This is based on the technology of the curved screen. And also uh, there's a special fan. Therefore, it looks like a painting instead of a TV. OK, so uh, last but not least, I would like to share with you uh, the design trends that we summarize. Uh, the first trend is called interpretation. The second trend called night type. The third trend is called true. And then less is more. The first trend, interpretation. The key word for this trend uh, is the recognition of the old times, the penetration of the Chinese and Western culture, the rebound after the infusions. Here we see a uh, cultural influence. Uh, since uh, 2008, we have seen the Chinese element and Chinese style in terms of design. But here we see that uh, there is a more clear direction of uh, East, Miss, West. In the old days, we used to have bright exception for foreign objects or foreign uh, things. But now we will see that the Chinese are much more confident about their identity. And there will be a little uh, infusion about the two different cultures, whether it uh, decorates Chinese elements uh, in the Western design or use Western materials and approach in their Chinese design. Here is one example. So uh, we have spent uh, over one year to design a tea set for Royal Salanga. Here is a tea set uh, based on the material of proto and bamboo. In terms of the texture, you will see that uh, it is similar to the texture of bamboo also. But uh, for the function, uh, we are no longer focused on the traditional tea set function, for example, the Gong Fu tea, because it really takes a long of time. Instead, uh, we are integrating new functions, for example, a uh, small uh, dessert plate, so that you can put the stand for afternoon tea. Also, uh, there's a filter, so that it's more functional than the traditional tea sets. Here we can see uh, the Chinese uh, aesthetic uh, express, but we are using the uh, very Western materials. And also the ideology is very simplicity in the film. Next uh, is an uh, example from the food sector. In Shanghai, there's a brand called Bread Magic. Uh, it's a bakery that uh, is using Western bakery tactics, but the color is very much inspired by the Zen and Chinese philosophy. For example, uh, here we see the color in the bakery uh, inspired by water and ink. And then uh, here are some color inspiration for this trend. You will see the breathing quality inspired by uh, water and ink colors. And also we see some essence color. So uh, thanks to Kisha, I think uh, you guys know about the meaning of yellow. Because uh, in the Western world, sometimes uh, it's, it's a symbol of the royal and very uh, secret uh, identity. Here we, we see it as a symbol of the West, but uh, it was very toned down with the Chinese aesthetic. And then we will see the Chinese word. Uh, here, we will see the word that is uh, less pretentious and uh, not so bright as years before. So uh, here are two examples. And I actually want to do a small interaction with you. So uh, there is one example that shows 
uh, exactly what we want to show in interpenetration, and that's a very uh, bad example. So uh, which of you will say that uh, the picture on the left is the good example? Can you raise your hand? So which of you will say that the picture on the right is the good example? Thank you. So, yeah, this is the right example. So uh, the reason why is that uh, it's actually showing the color that we suggested. For example, the yellow color and the blue, but also uh, the representation is very abstract. For example, it doesn't see a lot of patterns in this design. It's all very abstract, in, uh, as if you're looking at the uh, water and, and paintings. Also, the color tend to be very warm, and this is the kind of feelings that uh, Chinese will prefer. In the past, uh, this picture has got a very high weight, uh, as it's well preferred by the Chinese. And then we see these pictures. Um, that is also a very special design for the Chinese market, but I will consider it not as a very successful design. Uh, here we see some Chinese elements, for example, uh, the round table, uh, the mahjong, and also uh, the patterns of the windows. But uh, these are too much patterns in one design. Also in terms of the color, although they also use red color and maybe black, but the color is too heavy. And these kind of pictures uh, get a very low ratings when we are doing the consumer tax. Okay, and then the second chain, uh, we call it the light hat, and in Chinese, qin ke ji. The key for this chain uh, is transparency, the feeling of wonderful intimacy and joy. Here we see that it's a chain that is influenced by our low perception of technology. In the old days, we used to perceive technology as satellites, Star Wars, <laughs> spaceships, uh, this kind of uh, image. But nowadays, when we talk about science and technology, we are no longer as associated with Star Wars. So here, we are associated with something that is more close to our living. For example, Google Glass and Racing, uh, WeChat in China. Which means that technology is integrated in our daily life and is much more convenient user friendly, showing a uh, new sense of intimacy. Uh, when we look at the new interface by Apple uh, in iPhone, we we'll see that they have no longer used the three-dimensional design. But instead, uh, they are pushing a design that has very flat color, and also there's a new sense of transparency and nightliness in the design. In terms of inspiration, we took inspiration uh, by the fireflies in the forest and also uh, the fish in the waters. That's very transparent, but also uh, very lively. Here I will point out that uh, the color palette has changed. The neon colors is no longer popular, but instead we are having colors that is much more lightweight and also uh, a symbol of technology. So this is uh, the representation of color and the sense of uh, transparency, as if uh, it's a bubble. The fourth chain that uh, we're talking about uh, is called Chu in Chinese uh, Shi. The key of these chains in, is in heritage, elegancy, quality, and solid. We see this uh, as a local trend because it's a reflection about our social anxiety, our uh, lack of uh, trust and safety in the society. So uh, in, in the past decades, uh, after the open and reform policy, we will see a very fast uh, pace of growing in China. Uh, Chinese people are uh, having a very expanded desire for consumption. We will exchange and upgrade, even the out here and there. But nowadays, uh, because we see a preservation, 
So we are seeing that people are, might tend to be more cautious in terms of consumption. Also, uh, there's no sense of maturity and the need for heritage in our society. And that's why we believe that people uh, will buy a luxury nowadays, not only because it's a famous brand, but also consider it as an insurer of quality. In Japan, uh, there is a slogan that promote a product that can be used for 100 years. Here in China, we will see a similar concept that there's a desire for long-lasting quality. So here is a reflection as what we talk about, that uh, maybe the young generation will start to appreciate the uh, quality of fix and repair and the old things that can uh, last for the case. And also, this is another example, uh, sadly also from Japan. So uh, this is a tea set by Kaikado, who is a brand based in Kyoto. Uh, the tea set has a metal finish in the outside. The color of the metal will change uh, when time pass by because of the oxidation process and also because the touch of the hands of the consumer. Here we see that a product that can uh, can be changed as time goes by, as if uh, it has a living of its own. So that would be a product that are uh, appreciated by this uh, low chance. In terms of color, you will see colors uh, that is uh, very substantial and very uh, shows uh, uh, the new, new materials in its representation. So here is another interaction with you. Uh, we have two pictures from the airplane interiors. One is a good example and one is a bad example. So how many of you will think that the picture on the left is the good example? Thank you. So how many of you will think that the picture on the right is the good example? Okay, thank you. So here we see a new design for Singapore Airlines for their first cars. The reason we believe that this is a good example is because it has used materials very differently, but also showing the unique quality of different material. For example, uh, there's leather in the chair, there's a metallic finish on the side, and also there are some kind of plastic on the shell. But uh, each color is very true to itself. But instead, this is a very bad example by Amaro's allies. The reason why that is so bad is because uh, they use plastic, but with wooden textures. At the very first time, uh, people will believe that it's plastic instead of wood. And that's very fake. Um, Although they try to uh, position as a very high at image, but this is uh, very unsuccessful for me. And here is another very bad example in China. Uh, this is one of the brands that we work for. Their products uh, is switch uh, on the uh, on the world. So uh, the new products is made by plastic with fumes. Um, the fields can be changed uh, to different patterns, uh, but then uh, they have choose the patterns of metal, stone, and even leaders as their patterns. But on the very first side, it looks like plastic instead of metal, leather, and stone. So this is a very unsuccessful product in terms of the sales. And here is our recommendation. If you use plastic, Please use plastic in its best quality. And if you use wood, please use the wood textures. Don't do it uh, as a fake looking look and feel. And last year we have finished a uh, survey result for Swedish wood, who is going to the Chinese market. In some of the statistics, uh, there is uh, also a preference of the true materials. For example, this is a question for different color coatings. Uh, we have seen a very clear preference for the clear coatings. 
which is showing the texture of the wood. But instead, uh, when you disguise it as different uh, coatings with color, it's less preferred by the Chinese consumers. Okay, this is the last term. Uh, we call it less is small. And in Chinese, uh, yi shai yi de. The key word of this chain is uh, reflection, tempering, essence, and play. Uh, as what we mentioned and explained in Deng Shui, there is a real kind of uh, self exploring and reflection for the young generation in China. Here we see that uh, less is more is not about being different or being minimal but uh, it's more about letting go of the unnecessary and uh, emptying the space for a much more colorful world. In 2014, uh, the Japanese brand Muzi used to have an uh, exhibition in Shanghai uh, called Product Fitness 18. All the products uh, in this uh, uh, exhibition have uh, reduced their energy uh, and resource consumption. For example, the cotton balls that is shortened is one uh, is length, and also uh, toilet paper that is reduced is wife. Um, these kind of products are still uh, very functional, but they have reduced the resource in use in terms of the manufacturing process. And there's also another example we did. We had made a sofa out of a material called Tyrek by the bone. So this is a material that uh, looks like the paper. And uh, it feels very lightweight. It seems to be that you are working in the sky together with uh, different layers of the cow. Here is some of the material and color representation of this chain. Some of the colors will tend to be much more neutral and clear. Okay, to summarize, uh, here we put the di uh, four different chains into one metric. We see the chain of true and interpenetration will tend to be more uh, traditional or nostalgic. And then uh, we have seen a more minimal approach for less is more. And we also see a, a futuristic approach for light tech, but then again, it's very friendly instead of uh, satellites and Star Wars. In terms of color, here is the color rules for different trends. To explain it a little bit, uh, we will suggest that uh, to use uh, interpretation for the spring season because it's very warm and welcoming. And then for my tag, uh, because it's very vivid colors and very friendly, we suggest it to be used in the summer. For true, uh, it's much more for the luxurious feelings, and therefore it's more suitable for autumn. And less is more, it's a much more of feeling of uh, reflection and putting down things, and what would be best uh, than winter to represent this kind of chance. And in terms of the consumer target uh, groups, we were advised uh, to use interpretation for uh, 45 plus years old for uh, sophisticated consumers who search for their social identity and quality living. And for my turn, uh, it actually attracts a lot of the young consumers. For example, uh, we have uh, clients that work for the cell phone for female in China, and uh, this kind of trends will be very attractive for their female uh, segmentations. And this will be a consumer who is uh, interested in the emerging cultures, uh, in choice of technology, and uh, the future uh, fashion trends. In terms of true, we will uh, suggest uh, it's for consumer who is much more mature, looking for a very classic approach for material because uh, all the material we suggest will tend to be much more authentic and very realistic. And then uh, last but not least uh, is the representation for uh, less is more. 
this will tend to be for younger consumers, uh, maybe city artisans, and also who are looking for self-reflection and reduction of their life to get loose of their pleasures, um, for example. Okay, so what we talk about is actually a short representation of uh, the trends of the projects. But if you are interested in the projects, there are actually over 100 pages of the reports. And uh, tell me, let me know if you are interested in the reports. Here are some of the uh, key takeaways in my representation. Uh, the very first point is that trend prediction will require an international uh, vision a local insight, the thinking of uh, very strategically, and then put this in different product categories and for working mindsets. And secondly, uh, when we are talking about design trends, we will always look into the context of these trends. And these contexts are put out as politics, economy, society, technology, culture, and design. And then uh, we will see that uh, the adoption speak of trends are very different according to different product categories. We will see that the consumers and brands will take different attitudes towards different trends. And in the inference met mo uh, model, actually they will take uh, different positions for niche market, mainstream, and then niche again. Most brands uh, are actually fighting for the mainstream market that is uh, for about 14% of uh, early majority and 14% of late majority. And then last but not least, for 2015 and 2016, we believe that there are four different Chinese trends that will be dominant. Uh, these are interpretation, light type, true, and less is more. Thank you for listening to my uh, presentation.